And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Legend of Agaia. So last time we uh, destroyed Songi in the Serukai and um, then went on a little journey to um, get everyone their super spells. So now Vaughn has Meta, Noah has Terra, and Gala has Ozma, which I thought would require you to have all of the other spells before you can get that, but apparently it's getting all of the arts. So all of your moves that you have available. We are only missing one with Vaughn for some reason. <laughs> apparently I had missed that. Any dang where we're back here in Renelm. And uh, now we can enter the Simseru and be done with this once and for all. I understand how you feel. Even if we defeat Juggernaut, your family and fellow villagers may not return to normal. Fun! Fun! I understand. I understand how you feel, Vaughn. I'll wait for you. I'll wait until you feel you're ready for this. I'll wait until you're ready to fight Juggernaut. Oh, I had to press a button, I think. Fun, you all right now? You're all right, aren't you? You're fine. Before our own eyes, we've seen many towns recovered from the, from the ravages of the mist. We have made many miracles happen. Also, many miracle arts. Although I just recently got them on. So. So. Vaughn, you're not alone. Everything we did together, everything we're going to do, it'll never, ever, ever be undone. That's why. That's why what? I just kind of ended that sentence in the middle there. But yeah, at this point, if we run out of uh, phoenixes, then it was meant to be that we run out of phoenixes. But we had an idea. They might be level 3, but they're still pretty weak at that point. Well, they are doing a fair amount of damage. Oh, not down. Okay. Oh, and you get to act first. Fantastic. And that is what uh, Terra level 8 looks like. Unfortunately, we will never know what Terra level 7 looks like. Now's the time to bring forth the power of the great Genesis tree. Bond, are you prepared? Let's do it. There's no point fighting Juggernaut from the outside. Juggernaut's weak spouse is on the inside. Are you ready, everyone? You've got to cut an opening and crawl into Juggernaut's body. Yeah. We must work together. Let's go. Have 
do. So is that it? Are we gonna enter Juggernaut's body through his mouth? Sure seems that way. Brace yourself, it's gonna be a wild ride. It's a really a shame that uh, Jewel, is, Jewel isn't here. She would definitely have something to say about this. Also, we should probably heal off. Oh boy. I, um... This area sure is an area, isn't it? But I do have a map of this area, because, um... We're gonna want to get every single chest here. And once we, once we get... Once we get the first one, I think you'll understand why we need to get all of them. And a lot of them are going to be on the way. And I think the rest of them are not going to be that big. If someone didn't have orb, we could get it now. In fact, I have a feeling that we're going to see pretty much people say Maybe with the exception of some of them that are like very recent. But I'm pretty sure that every fight in the bio fortress, in the bio castle somewhere. Well, speaking of orb, let's use orb. First counter attack of the day. AJ Bob. You, you missed a bit of a reveal that I had during the break. Where 
real ass me it's not a face reveal, it's a project thing that I'm doing. I'm making an MSU1 music pack of Final Fantasy Tactics for Link to the Past. If you don't know what that means, then you should have been here. I mean, yeah. You're not wrong, Zero. Honestly, that face has changed since then. Not unrecognizably, but uh... So here's our first box. Rosser Armor. So you probably know now why I want to get every single box. So I was looking at the guide as well to see, um, you know, things that could have been and didn't. Uh, there is something that you unlock for getting everyone up to level 99. And it's kinda rad, but there's no damn way that I'm gonna actually do that. So if you get everyone to level 99. That unlocks a chest, I believe, at the OSHA research facility. OSHA, OSHA. That you can't count the And, um, so that unlocks a chest, which contains the evil talisman. And that has two effects. First, I believe it dramatically increases encounter rate or decreases. The, the guide kind of says increases in one place and decreases in another. So I'm not really sure. But the big thing that it does is grant the magic juggernaut. Oh, yeah, I forgot to. There we go. I, I set up these buttons to try to you know, give myself some music, some, uh, some sound presets, and then forgot to use them. So I don't know how much of that I need to, to repeat. Or did that come through and it was just hard to hear? Oh, J-Pop, I'm not going to need to do the two and a half hours again. I only turned up the volume during the break. Anyway, so if you get to level 99, you go, up, you unlock a chest at uh, the Usho Research Facility. Uh, remember the professor who can't count to three. And um, that contains the evil talisman. Now, it has two effects, and one of them is it either dramatically increases or decreases encounter rate. The guide, uh, the guide that I was looking at says increases in one place and decreases in others, I'm not sure. But the big thing that it does is allow to summon Juggernaut. Yes, that Juggernaut. Basically, getting to level 99, you're already pretty much destroying anything in your way. Now you get to just obliterate it off the face of the world.
Uh, there's also the Dark Talisman, which um, that pretty much is just you go to Jeremy and get uh, get Zalan to make that for you, but you need to give him an item to uh, to do that. Which I don't know if you want that item. Anyway. It's one of those rewards that feel pointless by the time you get them. Yeah, we're gonna see another one of those in this dungeon, actually. Um, after, I think anytime after you beat the floating castle, you can go back to Mount Dini. And remember how there was a save point there at the top of the mountain, but there wasn't a boss? Well, there's one now. Also, don't say too much about the end of Octopath Traveler. I still haven't. I, I still need to go back to that game and actually finish it. Was, it got real grindy, you know? Like, I kind of lost, lost the train of that game. But I do want to go back and finish it at some point. Obviously, not next game. Um, so yeah, as for what that boss drops, if I try to scroll out, it's gonna take forever. Okay, so the boss is named Lapis. Um, in order to have a chance of surviving this boss, for one thing, you need to have max 3000 HP on all of your characters. Like, th this is your optional super boss. Um, ideally, you want as much light protection as possible. And uh, if you manage to... Okay, I got the, I got the names a little wrong here. So, okay, no, no. Evil Talisman is what you get for level 99. You can also get Dark Talisman. There's also the Earth, Water, and Light Talismans, which also give you additional summons. And uh, from, La from Lapis, you get the Evil Medallion. And uh, at, some at some point, someone mentioned like uh, an item that makes you berserk. That's the item that makes you berserk. Um, basically makes you attack randomly. Uh, the Berserked character can only do standard arts. We'll never do super arts. We'll never do hyper arts. We'll never do miracle arts. But hits a lot harder. Just that you don't get to pick where that attack goes. Another item that you can get real easy, actually. 
is over at the Muscle Dome. Uh, if you uh, enter every tournament and run away in the first fight, you get the Chicken King, which gives you a 100% chance of running away. Uh, if you manage to uh, beat the expert course for the Muscle Dome, you get the War God icon. Which I think we have one of those. Oh no, we do not. The War God icon is really good, actually. Um, and also, the War God icon in. in uh, Synergizes real well with the metal gem because it allows you to perform your attack twice on one turn. And so you do that with the metal gem and you can just do double miracle arts. There's another box over there. So I think that's pretty much the, the main thing, like the main secret things that uh, you'd be able to get if you're trying to do a 100% run. There's probably a lot more things, like a lot smaller random things that you could do as well. But those are the major ones. Oh, that is amazing. We're able to, to make some use out of that uh, tough love. appreciate though that uh, whenever Noah does uh, tough love um, with the uh, auto mode, it's always the last thing that she does, which is the only time that would actually be useful. Thunder Punch. Didn't work. Thunder Punch again. Thunder Punch until dead. <laughs> again, Master Strategy.
If Shoryuken doesn't defeat the opponent, then Shoryuken again. And we get Nova. And don't fret, I will be showing off the super spells that we do have during the final boss. There's our Rasu plate. Uh, let's see. That goes to eight. It goes to nine. It's a big long road that exists for no for no other reason than fight, because of course. Good pick there, using Rolling Flare on Gala while he's spearing. And another rolling flare on Gala. Gala got real lucky with that one. So lucky anymore. Oh, that hurt. You can do rolling flare on someone else, by the way. There are other options than Gaia, I promise you. See, Vaughn just uh just killed one of your buddies and ate him. Gala, only Gala. Uh, so you use a healing berry on Gala. And uh, the rest of you attack. That's two of them now. And I'm I am glad at least that um, the uh, the battle stage is not uh, is not infected with boogie fever like the rest of this place. Okay, 9 goes to 10. There's still nothing here other than just a big path. Yeah, and I think that uh, Noah's Rosser attack. I don't know if it's her Rosser attack or her weapon attack, it's hitting twice. Might be her Rossiter attack. Water crystals. You know, most people call that ice.
One down. Also, Noah has exactly 2,000 HP, and I appreciate that. I mean, she still has exactly 2,000 max HP, so I still appreciate that. said it before and I'll say it again. There's something very satisfying about taking out an enemy when it's not even your turn. Unfortunately, no one gets to spirit up. Also, 2835 and 2385. A lot of old number things here that are happening that make me happy. I could use the good luck bell, but also this is good experience. Like, there isn't any better experience anywhere in the game. I guess everyone's spiriting. does rolling flare compare to burning flare? Hmm? Let's find out, shall we? Nope. Press the wrong button. But did you not have the VAP for that? I guess not. That's disappointing. I guess Rolling Flare wins because it actually gets out. Another character with Gola Gola. Big old glass of Gola Gola. Uh, do we need Spoon? I don't think we do. Orb should do. If I'm right, Orb is not going to deploy slides. No, it is. Okay. Because it didn't in uh, Rogue's Tower, that's what I was thinking. It tastes better than Gola Cola. It might. I'm not. Uh, I'm not particularly familiar with Gola Cola. As far as Gola Gola, well. Uh, 
I mean, just look at these guys, and you tell me how that tastes. Probably pretty hot. I I'd imagine something like... So something in the realm of Fireball, except even hotter than that. Build up. Uh, orb. Uh, what level orb is that? Level 8. Nice. Okay, 10 is there. Do you wish to dive into the rapids before you? This looks like blood. I guess we have to. Oh. Uh, did I have to press something? Yeah, okay, I guess I actually have to press something. Hopefully I'm not like losing health or something. Get up there. Okay. Didn't realize I had control over that. Okay, our health is fine. And this box is the frickin' Crimson Book. Do you want to know what this does? Um... I know what it does all that. Gain more experience after battle. This would have been real useful a lot earlier in the game. At this point, eh, unless you're going for level 99, like, what's the point? Level 99 stream? No, I don't think so. Don't get me wrong, I would love to be able to show uh, the Juggernaut summon. I'm just not willing to spend hours and hours and hours and hours getting up to level 99. I remember this Kirby enemy. Hey, look at that! Speaking of Kirby, let's acquire Mushura. Channel the energy of that one guy got to level 99 in 5 minutes 7 in the starting mission. Goodness gracious. Yeah, you know, I'm sure I've told this story before, but the very first time that I played Final Fantasy 7, it took me 24 hours to get out of Midgar because I just wasn't getting the one little like story trigger or thing that I needed to get in order to get out. Imagine the relief once I started hearing. This is the last thing that you hear before leaving Midgar forever, asterisk.
This one guy starting it but not finishing. This this guy coming around saying, screw it, I'm gonna do it. Spirit up. See, it kind of makes me think of. Uh, I don't know how true it is, but apparently someone streamed themselves counting from one to one million without stopping for anything other than, like, eating. I think that. Um, That he took care of the the outbound, the outbound bodily functions, like during the stream, but like off camera, basically. And the moment that he hit a million, just passed the hell out for like two days straight. I've, I've, I, I saw some clips of the guy starting and finishing, but not really any of the in-between. It's like, I don't think I'm particularly invested enough into this story to watch the entire stream of someone, of someone counting from one to a million. who streamed for 24 hours running up the endless stairs in Mario 64. I mean, that's not, like, that's, that's believable, honestly. Because, like, you consider that there are some people who do, you know, 24, even 25 hour streams for, like, extra life. Um... So, like, it's not, it's just a step further to just be sitting at the endless stairs and pressing up on your control stick for 24 hours. Like, presumably he's also, like, interacting with chat, right? Okay. Uh, 12. Okay. So we're at 12 here. So then we need to go to 13. Are you serious? Come on. At least I was piercing through that. And then you also have like, for instance, Desert Bus for Hope, which they have gotten a lot better. Uh, since starting, like they they used to have like they used to make drivers take like twelve hour shifts, and then they bumped it down to eight hours, and now they have the entire shift system. So not only the driver, but the driver's entire entourage will only stay. Uh, you know, on the on the scene for six hours, and the only people who are allowed to make an exception are basically like a couple of the tech people, like the the real like showrunners, basically. Well, that and also Omega Shift, which is. You know, at, at the very end of uh, at the very end of the run, everyone is allowed to uh, yeah, 
convene and be there. And it's expected that as many people as possible are going to be at the final bus down, which is, um, yeah, they, they sing the final countdown, but replace the word countdown with bus down. Okay, so this is one path to 14, but this is not where I want to go. Uh, you spirit up. By the way, anyone who's interested in watching Desert Bus for Hope, it's a real cool thing that Loading Ready Run does every year. Uh, it's it benefits uh, the charity Child's Play, uh, which helps sick kids. And, uh, you know, basically, not not so much giving them medical things, but giving them quality of life, which is very important when you have a kid stuck in the hospital for months at a time. And give them toys and games. Give them something to do, something to stimulate the mind. Uh, they've been doing this for 16 years. Well, they've done it 15 times already, so it'll be 16th year this year. And it's going to be starting in mid November. Let me see if I probably have a date written down here. I can actually bring up my calendar. Uh, it starts uh, November 11th at uh, 6 p.m. Atlantic time. That would be 2 p.m. Pacific. Uh, let's have you use a healing berry. And uh, as for how long it runs, it runs for as long as they can get donations. So um, I believe that the very first donation is always Loading Ready Run themselves. They donate $100, and that puts about a day on their timer. Uh, every subsequent hour, because the first hour costs a dollar, and then each subsequent hour costs 7% more. So it's like another dollar seven for the second hour, and so on and so forth. So it compounds. Um, so you, you can start getting uh, hours near the end that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And someti sometimes they manage to just push it just barely for the next hour. And during the whole thing they have like uh, donation drives where you can like uh, donate a multiple of 627 for instance. And for every multiple of 627, you get one chance to win this prize. They have, if you have a lot of money, they have um, auctions. Let me check this map here. They have auctions for like real, you know, high ticket items. I think there's a box here. Yep. the Rosario seal. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention to what's going on here for a second. Okay, so where did that drop me off? I think it dropped me off there. But then how do I get up there? Alright, I'm gonna put on the good luck bell for a second here just to kind of figure out. There's two more boxes around. I keep not being able to find. I have so many things, like, holy crap.
Hey, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to the whole story of Desert Bus. Once I figured out these two boxes. Oh, okay, I think I know where I am. Well, we're in a fight now, so I guess I can continue talking. Um, but yeah, they have uh, they have guests call in every year. They have like a whole line of guests. I don't know who is going to be on this year. They're going to start um, announcing the guests pretty soon. Um, one person who usually shows up is Mike Newman. Uh, they usually have a couple of, you know, podcasters and uh, things like that. They have a couple of people from Child's Play. And uh, also, since, I believe, since the first year and almost every year since, Penn Gillette has called in because, like, you know, it... Um, Desert Bus is part of Penn and Tull's Smoke and Mirrors, and he pretty much found out right away. Like, he might have had someone tell him about it, but he found out real quick that this was happening and it was all for it. And in fact, he will usually um, have a prize available to give away. Just nobody really knows when he's going to call until a couple of hours before he calls. Like, he's not able to really schedule a time because you know, Pendulet, he's busy. <laughs> but he usually finds some time to call, give something away. Um, Teller doesn't call as much, but he does show up here and there. Um, they have all sorts of bits that they do, like they um, basically do buskers. Uh, to raise money, like you can, uh, you can challenge the the team to like do something and pledge a certain amount of money, and then they do it, and then you give them the money. And sometimes they might not do it, you might still give them the money anyway because it's a good cause. I know I've done that a couple of times. Um. Do they get? Do they always make it to the end of the game each year? Uh, I mean, one point is eight hours, and I don't think that they have gone a year, but they have not gotten at least one point. Although I think a couple of years ago it was like their worst year in terms of points because they were uh, they were trying to do it like. Yes, I wish I died in the records. I guess I probably have to like control it some here, somewhere here. But can I go up here? Okay, but like, how do I get how do I get F and G? Okay, so F is the Rosser. Hmm. So you'll jump back in, you'll come back to the fork where you started. Head to the right, and you'll. Uh, okay, head to the right. We'll see another opportunity to jump in. Oh, okay. So yeah, they they always get a couple of points, and like the community is very active in this as well. Um, like there's 
there's a group called the Video Strike Team who, like, there's always someone watching the stream to make sure that, like, any important moments get clipped uh, and that gets uh, stored into the Desert Bus for Hope uh, YouTube channel. Um, there's also Dix as a log, which is uh, Dix is a, a member of the uh, Loading Ready Grand community in general. Uh, also does a whole lot of work for Desert Bus behind the scenes. Um, and Dix's Log is a community effort as well. I have actually participated in updating Dix's Log myself. <laughs> it's kind of fun, honestly. It's not something that I probably want to do every year, but like, every so often. Um, also, uh, Mix Moz. Uh, Emily Lunsford uh, has been doing a poster for Desert Bus. I don't know if they've been doing it since the beginning, but if not since the beginning, then Danny. Uh, they they were around for quite some time. Hey, look at that, Vigoro. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Um, they usually plan on it lasting um, a full week. Although last year kind of backfired on them because they had planned for 168 hours, which is, you know, exactly one week. And they fell short at 167, so they kind of artificially extended it up to 168 because they needed the extra time because it takes like like in order to properly thank every single person that um that works on desert bus it takes about an hour honestly <laughs> A huge thing um, I think they have uh, at this point raised was it, would I be right in saying that they have raised a lifetime amount of 10 million dollars I'm trying to trying to figure it out. I w I remember seeing the moment that they hit uh, five million because they had like they they had prepared uh, balloons like a five and six zeros. Okay, so now we gotta dive back into this and go to the right. Gives us the Rosso helmet. Is 
this where I need to be going? I have like two windows up here. And that is not... Okay, hang on. Nope, that's going backward. I need to go this way. Fair enough. I can't find it anymore, but I'm pretty sure that they have raised over $10 million over their uh, 15 years of doing this so far. That's just gonna keep going up. I think um, last year, you know, two years ago was the first time that they that they raised over a million dollars in one year. But they didn't get to actually celebrate it on camera because um, like they, they have like other uh, you know, fundraising opportunities like they, they get money from uh, Fan Gamer because they put out uh, t shirts and uh, all the proceeds for that, like all the profits go toward like straight to Chelsea. So it basically, like, they almost made it on camera, but then when, when the dust was settled afterward, is when they found out, oh crap, we raised over a million dollars. And then last year, it happened on camera. And if I recall correctly, it happened in the morning shift. Like they were trying real hard to, to push out to a million so that they could get the uh, you know the glory for themselves and it just barely happened. Anyway, Desert Bus for me. Um, Twitch.tv slash Desert Bus. Gonna be starting November 11th. Uh, don't be worried about catching everything. In fact, anyone who is sane will, um, you know, get the rest that they need. And, um,. Yeah, they, they're on Twitter, they're on Mastodon. Um, any moments that uh, that are particularly notable are gonna end up on the Video Strike Team log or Dix's log. Let's go ahead and save here. So you might be thinking, well, there's a save point, right? That means we're about to, to reach the boss room. Now, this is the halfway point. Yes, I mean it, Vaughn. You must get out of here. This is a hellish place. Oh, we get a lost grail. Oh, Vaughn, please help us save me from this pain. Um, so now we want to go to here. Oh, dear. Vaughn, it's you, and Gala, Noah. Maya, are you alright? Are you in pain? 
don't worry. I still got some fight left in me. Just hang in there. We'll save you, I promise. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Maya? Come on, let's go. It's time to take out Juggernaut for good. Hang in there, Maya. We'll get Juggernaut. Oh, it hurts. My whole body hurts. Get a couple of more upgrades. Okay, so we're I. Now we need to go up. This isn't anything. Oh, okay. Oh, this just loops around? Wait. Oh, okay. But get out of my way. Oh, up here, okay. Vaughn, is that you there, Vaughn? Are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. But please, don't look at me. I must look horrible. Don't look at me, I look awful. That's not true. You look the same, mate. Just as pretty as ever. You're so sweet, Noah. Thank you so much. And I told myself that I wouldn't cry. I told myself I'd be strong. Hang in there, mate. We'll finish off Juggernaut. Then we'll rescue everyone. Wait, Vaughn. Take this with you. Vaughn now has May's Pendant. Promise me, Vaughn. Promise that you'll come back alive. Uh, now, apparently it was possible to get May's Pendant before now. I'm not entirely sure how. But the guide says so. Uh, if we had gotten May's Pendant already, we would have gotten a life arm in instead. What does May's Pendant do? Pendant from May increase max HP 10% by stealing it. I don't think that's what it is. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Am I gonna die? Tell me, am I gonna die like this? I'll save you somehow. <laughs> Okay, I'll wait for you. Believe in you. We got Rosser shoes. Also, I should probably equip the unholy icon back here. Okay. I thought then this was all gone. Unfortunately, we're probably gonna miss, we're probably gonna miss some dialogue over to the right, but we literally don't need to go there. There isn't a chest. There isn't a path forward. It's just to talk to people. Oh, that's actually really bad. They all attacked first, and they all did multi cover. Well, we can't survive that again, so we need to at least take one of them out. And no, I can say, Vaughn, you thief, I'm gonna beat you up. And, you know, we saw her punt Grantas that one time. 
Um, so I'm going to use Spoon and I'm going to spear it with the other two, just in case. Spoon's magic level increase. Ooh, Gala looking a little badass with that armor. Actually, Noah's, uh, Noah's looking pretty cool, too. Look at that headpiece. see what the recommended level for there is no recommended level because uh, it's basically relying on the fact that uh, you've probably done everything else in the guide which we definitely haven't there's still plenty of things we could do to improve our odds Vaughn don't worry about me I'm alive. What's more important is, what are you going to do? More kick butt! I see. I'm sure you can do it. Take this with you. We have a miracle water. Vaughn, oh, I'm so proud of you. Recommended level 99. Fortunately, that is not the case. Okay, so that goes to 15. Uh, let's actually make sure our health is fine. I recommend 69. Now, now Zero, when you say that, Or I should I should uh, I should probably have uh, responded in the uh, Sterling Archer way. Hey, phrasing. I should I should watch through Archer. That's a good show. You some bitch. You come back here. <laughs> Um, now we need to, uh, we need to kill immediately. Oh, that's not the one who stole my crap. That's the one who stole my crap. I was uh, paying attention incorrectly. Fortunately, it didn't run away. There we go. No, but that, that helmet looks real cool.
Uh, so I think this one is hidden, actually. There should be one nearby. Uh, let's see, it's N. N is that. Oh, but this guy misses it. What about the other one? You follow the path, and after you make a right turn, then turn to the north, immediately start checking the right cell wall. There it is. What does the metal goblet do? There it is. AP remains at 100. Hmm. So yeah, this is the item that... Uh, this is a pretty killer item. Let's see. Also, we got a Miracle Water, which I will give to... You know what? It's Vaughn's dad who gave it. I'll give it to Vaughn. I'm gonna give you the Metal Goblet. I don't think that there is any, like, you don't get anything special for beating the game with Maze Pendant. Okay. Basically, at this point, I could like, I could give Vaughn a Fury Boost and just do Miracle Arts every turn. <laughs> Which I wonder if it would be better for Noah to do. Because, like, Noah is our fastest character. We basically, like, trade the metal gem and the metal goblet. Like combining the metal armlet and the evil medallion, which allows you to perform your attack twice. If um, or no, the evil medallion is the the berserk one. There, there is one item that I said allows you to do your attack. The the one that uh, I think Slapus drops. drops it, I think. No, no, the... Oh my goodness, I'm getting so confused. The War God icon. Now I'm sure. The War God icon that you get from the Muscle Dome is the one that ACB and Attack throws. I wonder how well that synergizes with the Metal Goblet, because if you're using the... Um, if you're using the Metal Gem, it cuts the cost in half. You still will need to have 98 uh, art points in order to do a miracle attack twice. Don't get too excited about the raw Seru thongs 
That's thongs as in like flip flops. That's for Gala. Not anyone else. If it was for someone else, I would be asking questions. Because, I mean, either it goes on someone's feet, or we have a 12-year-old with very questionable clothing on. Let's not. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Japan, but let's, let's draw the line somewhere, shall we? So that was 17. And 17 is going to land us here. There's a bunch of branches. And it's a good thing that I am looking at this map because I would probably miss something. Also, I keep forgetting to heal everyone. Um, Terra Nova. That's uh, literally Newfoundland. Also, you know Spoon. I bet you learned Spoon. Well, anyway. Terra Nova. That's a little funny that they're right next to each other because, like, Terra Nova is another word for Newfoundland. Firma. Well, unfortunately, there is not a uh, there is not a Seru in this game called Firma. Here, here, here. There, there is definitely an interesting synergy that you can get with the War God icon, Evil Medallion, and um, there is another one. But especially those two. Um, I suppose you could also add the Guardian Chain so that uh, the enemy can't be off. You can also add the metal goblet. Oh, geez, another one. Here, 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 here. 
Uh, you go ahead and cast spoon. Right, we, we've got plenty of magic for emails, we'll just use it. That is pretty shocking. guys are spongy. Oh come on, you can stop it with that. We really don't need to do Thunderstorm every turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to give Noah the uh, Metal Goblet because uh, I want her to just be able to go nuts. Second, place this with what's the metal arm man? Okay, you get the metal goblet. I'll still give you metal gem. Yeah, sorry, club. Yeah, I need to remember to heal as well. Magic armband. Oh boy, it's Puerra, guys. Here comes the death game. Watch carefully. Also, it's level three, so if if Puerra doesn't die, we do. So this can be a real easy wipe. And now at most one of our characters will lose. Oh, you're not doing it. Uh, you've apparently learned your lesson from watching your friends die. You're going to die fighting at the very least. Monkey see, monkey do not want.
Yeah, it's kind of a similar concept to the Blue Man group. There are three of them because that is the minimum number of people you, you, that you can have and have one person and like have someone be distinctly different from the others. not looking too great. Vaughn's kind of eating it too here. Oh, all three of you. Okay, so I guess Noah's just freaking dead. Yep. Vaughn's still up at the very least. I think I need to concentrate first on trying to keep Vaughn alive. And then we'll try to bring back Noah. Because ideally we want to have all three up at the end of the fight so that all three of them can gain experience. This fight is not a joke. Um, do I want to have you use Spoon or do I want to have Noah use Spoon? No, I'll have you use Spoon. I'll have you use a healing fruit. And you spear it just in case. I probably didn't need to use Spoon, but uh, again, we can. Also, considering that Thunderstorm is happening again. And... This seems appropriate with how many Thunderstorms Halifax has been getting lately. Get these guys down before they cause substantial more amounts of damage here. That's one down. I'm sweet. 
I am not sure which one is worse about Thunderstorm, the attack. That it hits everyone pretty hard, or that it takes so damn long to finish. It's a little rough. They're still going, folks. They are still going. Yeah, that that was uh, that was pretty rough, Gala. You're allowed. Um, then I want to go right. Yes. And that's the Ross Arrow Blade, so everyone should have a full set of Ross Arrow equipment. And they do. So we got everything. That was the last box in the game. Oh jeez. Congratulations, we just beat the last box of the game. Not to say that there aren't others that we haven't opened, but yeah. Yes, the last box. And again. I mean, in the box was a Ross Arrow Blade. And you don't even get to move. And that is a beefy Ross Arrow at this point. had to press both of those at the same time. I don't know why that puzzle is there, it's just there. Anyway, here we are. This is the end of the bio castle and the final boss of the game rests beyond that valve. And uh, oh right, we should probably uh, Make sure that everything is topped off, eh? Let's see. Okay, everyone is a foil. 
but I just need to use some magic fruits. Let's get everyone up to full. Gear should be fine. All right, so the final boss is just right there beyond that valve, and we shall do so right after the break because we are going to be finishing tonight. There's like literally just that boss and the ending at this point. So this, this stream is going to be going a little bit over. If you can stay, then great. If you can't, then uh, it'll be on YouTube uh, in a couple of days. Uh, this is not going to be a full break, as is usual with the break happening around 1 a.m. my time. I'm basically just going to go to the bathroom, and uh, then we're going to go straight into the final boss. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 